Yo, what's up? This is B-Boy Napalm with Break Advice. Uh, my crews are Lion Zion and Beatwax. Now recognize. Break Advice. So uh, what I'm going to go over is just like a little bit of conditioning for your body because, you know, one of the things that I think that's really important is that, you know, this is just like any other sport and you even see basketball players, they're not lifting up heavy weights. They have a little basketball, but they condition themselves all the time so they can be better at their sport. This is something that I think is really important that, I mean, nowadays is not a secret. A lot of the b-boys condition themselves outside of just break and they do a lot of other things. Uh, one thing I was kind of blessed with as I got older is uh, I have fairly okay shoulders. They're, they're kind of big for my size. Um, of course, you know, I continued to build my shoulders up because I wanted to do a lot of things on them. And you might see that when I break. I, I drop down on my shoulder quite often. So I'm gonna just like throw out a couple ideas for workouts that you could do. And then of course show a couple moves that I might do on my shoulder and uh, how you can do that. So um, yeah, first of all, I'll start with the, the conditioning. You know, for me, um, you know, we all break differently, but for me and break and I'm, you know, very explosive. That's how I wanna break. So what is the point of conditioning not explosively? It doesn't make sense. If I want to break explosive, I have to condition explosive. So some workouts, of course, you have likely seen before, uh, but that help with the quick twitch muscle fibers. That's what that's called. When you're explosive, you're building up fibers inside your muscles that are called quick twitch. Um, and then there's ones that release more slow, like long distance runners, people that run really long distance, they use more of a slow twitch muscle fiber. They'll use up their gas over a long period of time. Uh, so with that being said, Basic little workouts you can do, like push-ups where you explode off the ground. Things like that, and you know a million variations. You can clap, you can clap behind your back. Uh, so there's one thing. Another thing if you listen, and this is really important about breaking. I'm a martial artist, that's what I do for a living, that's what I've done longer than I've been breaking. Breathing, right? The, yeah, yeah. They breathe when they do their techniques. If you wanna last longer when you break, Breathe with your movements. You'll be able to do longer power combos. You'll be able to do your freezes better. So breathing and synchronizing your breathing with your movements, very, very important. So if you listen, when I was doing the push-ups, there was a breath every time I pushed out, just like a punch, right? So in the same way, that regulates your breathing. So that way you can do whatever the big movement is or yet again, long power combos. So doing things on your shoulders. Uh, one thing I like to do for some of my moves is like I'll go from my shoulder up to my hands. So let's break it down. The first thing you can do is just, you know, especially for children, is teaching them how to just balance on their shoulders. So get them to lay their arm out or you can lay your arm out flat. See, I have my leg up in the air, arms out flat. And I'm, I'm not just on my shoulder, I'm on my head too. You can use your hand for a little bit of balance. And I'm even using this hand here for balance down here. So very basic, whatever you wanna do, doesn't matter. So the next thing is, you know, when I'm focusing on pushing up to let's say a handstand, which is kind of ridiculous to do off of your shoulder, it's not really that ridiculous, use your entire body. So I'm gonna lean a little bit onto this hand over here. I'm gonna push off of my shoulder. I'm gonna use my head too, kind of like my shoulder and my head go like this, right? Like they're gonna come together to push me up. Then another factor when you're doing these transitions from like down low to up high is how you pump your legs. Right, this. See, that just took me off the ground, utilizing my legs. So maybe you do everything one at a time. You just get your balance here, practice, right? Then the next thing to do is work on pumping your legs so you get this motion. Do that a few times, right? Then you can break this down, maybe you go only up to your head. So you come from here, then you're up here. All right, and you can even take that up another notch before worrying about a handstand. Can you do this up to your head? No hands, that's pretty dope. Then the big one is, is synergizing everything. I pump my legs, I push with both arms, I squeeze with my shoulder and my head, and I make it all come together at once to have this shoulder up to a handstand motion. Just like that, again. So I'm down here, I come up, everything at once. 
and then try to listen because I know you're gonna hear me slap the ground. But the breathing, the breath with it. So your breathing can help dictate your speed. Like a martial artist yet again, they go. So I breathe slow, I punch slow. I breathe a little faster, I can dictate my speed with my breath. So can you dictate the speed of a big break and move like that with your breathing? That's pretty dope. So uh, to put it together a little bit, like how I might do a round, uh, I have a concept that I use, uh, we call it the fish out of water. So I'll go here, like this, stop here, and I'll go shoulder up. So one more time, a little bit faster, because I explained it that time. So that's my idea to build you up, make your shoulder a little stronger. Also, how you can change levels with some of your basic freezes, maybe all the way from your shoulder up to a handstand. Also, remember, do your workouts and your breath control. Very, very important. Yo, and this is B-Boy Napalm from Lions of Zion and Beat Wax. This is Break Advice. Not recognized. Not, 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 not recognized. Break Advice.